Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix if something went wrong on the PlayStation Store using your PlayStation 5. And the most likely reason of this is because there is a connection issue. Either PlayStation Network is down or you just don't have an internet connection at your house right now. So just go on over to network right here and just verify you have a internet connection. There could be an issue in here. Otherwise, go to where it says view PlayStation Network and just choose this and make sure the PlayStation Store is up and running. So if that is not an issue, let's go on over to settings right here, and then just go to set up internet connection and view our currently connected internet. Now it could be good just to press options on it and then go to forget, and then go to okay. And then we can just simply re-add this back. Maybe this is the issue that is causing it. So I have a wired LAN cable on here. I'm just gonna go to this and then set this up. And then I'm gonna go over to options on it and then go to advance. And then I'm gonna go down to DNS. And I'm just gonna switch this to manual and type in 8.8.8.8, .8 press R2 and done. Go to the secondary, 8.8.4.4, R2 and done. Now, if it is related to PlayStation Network uh, going down, it could take maybe like four or five hours before uh, that's actually fixed and it is brought online again. Now you can still go to the PlayStation mobile app and purchase things. And then you could go to the PlayStation uh, website and then do the same thing on that from a browser or something like that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But there's one other thing that you might wanna try. Maybe there's an issue between uh, your PlayStation and your account, and it's just simply not syncing up anymore. So what you could do is go on down to other, and then specifically go to where it says sign out. You'll have to re-log in with your password and email address, but I've noticed sometimes in the past, uh, this has caused an issue with me where things just don't align and they're not synced. Then also, there could be like a pending um, system update or something uh, that's installing or something going on in the background. So press the PlayStation button, go on down to download slash uploads, and just make sure there's no uh, download for the system software going on right now. Uh, that would probably kick you offline and you want to be able to access uh, the PlayStation product. So you can see I have a system software uh, that is installed and updated right there. Now, if you're still having issues, uh, like I said, go on over to the PlayStation app on your phone or the website, playstation.com. Sign in in the top right. You can see I'm signed in. Uh, you can go to your cart right here and then you can easily just check out uh, purchase whatever you're looking at through here and then download it uh, to your PlayStation 5. Now, if you have your PlayStation set as uh, console sharing offline play and it's enabled, you should be able to just select the button and it'll download from your uh, computer to your PlayStation. So you can just choose the store right here, go to buy games, and then you can add the game to your account. And when you check out, it'll give you the option uh, to pretty much just download it right away. So just go to download to library right here. So I can just choose that right here and it should just download to my PlayStation right now. So let's go to um, one of these games. So let's go to Digimon Story. I think that was a PlayStation Plus. And then I can choose the PlayStation to download. So I have a PS5, PS5 Pro and a PS4. So I can just download it to this one. And it's under my download section now. So I've if I go back over to my PlayStation, that should pop up. You can see Digimon is downloading. Very easy. So just make sure your PlayStation is set to uh, offline sharing. So our let's go over to other. Console sharing offline play. Make sure this is enabled. Now you definitely want this enabled because it's gonna share PlayStation Plus and your games to all the accounts on your PlayStation. But if you ever get kicked off of line or PlayStation Network is down, uh, you will still be able to play your offline games. So if you don't have this enabled and you don't have an internet connection, you're gonna get this giant lock symbol next to your games and you won't be able to play until you uh, reconnect in the internet. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.